on a Japanese candy kit. Today is going to be uh, Taco de Gesto, which is octopus and squid candy. Yay! So cute. Uh, so as you can already tell, we're going to be making candy that is shaped like an octopus and a squid. And look at that little, it's so cute right here on the bottom. That's really cute. Um, so first thing when you're working on this, of course you want to make sure that your hands are clean and that your workspace is clean. We're going to start by opening up this packaging here. have these two different colored taffies. They are kind of soft, not really. Um, we're definitely going to want to warm it up and mold it before we put it in our extruder. Otherwise it will be really difficult. Like Right now you could easily just um, make the shape with the mold, um, but we want to make sure it's nice and soft so that we can actually uh, put it through the extruder without destroying our hands. So you can see the little mold here. We have the squid and we have the little octopus. Uh, it's pretty cute. Once again, it's relatively small. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and pull that apart. Okay, so I finally got the packaging open. actually kind of sticky. Oh my goodness. It's like the worst. So this one smells kind of like bubble gum. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so now we gotta add the packaging. So you can kind of see I'm not really putting too much pressure. It's not that bad. So we're going to make our first little octopus seed here. So we're just going to take just a little bit. Uh, we need some more. It's not really so sticky. It does leave kind of like a little bit of a sticky residue on your fingers. So if you don't like that, you can wear gloves. Um, you can also just enjoy having pretty fingers. Pretend you're a kid again, you know, like those kids who didn't care. So now we're just taking it and we're just pressing it into the mold. And we're just going to make sure we press it in really well. So that way we actually get the little designs on the indent for his mouth. And I'm just going to give it a few minutes. Um, not even a few minutes, but just a little bit so that it kind of gets hard again. So, in the meantime, we're going to work on our squid as well. <laughs> sides and hopefully we can get him out and we did yay and so this is his little face really cute so we're just gonna put him to the side here and since this one already likes to come out I'm just going to gently pull on it and then here we have our cute little squid. Uh, what we want to do since we're going to take the cola one and we're going to work on the squid. Uh, so this one's already pretty malleable here. You can really squish it. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like roll it kind of like a little Tootsie Roll. I'm just going to put it right into the... Um, why do I always keep forgetting the extruder? Gosh, I, I, ah, 
which is really struggling with that word extruder. We're going to take the plunger and we're just going to squeeze it. And here you can see little legs coming out. And then when they're the length that you want them, you can pinch them. All right, so we're just going to put our fingers around the base here. And we're just going to pinch to tear it away. And you can position them however you'd like. You can make them waving, uh, you know, just whatever you feel like. But the fun part about this candy is you just whatever you want. And here we have our cute little squid. Yay, it's so adorable. I think it's really cute. Uh, so you can see that taking this out, you're going to have to clean up the extruder just a little bit, but not, not too bad, not too bad. It's actually really easy um, because it just kind of hardens after a little bit, and then it's just ready to go. Um, I ended up making two. I made one in the cola um, flavor, and he looks really cute. He kind of looks like he's dancing. I really like that one. <laughs> and then I made, sorry, they're kind of sticky. So just be prepared with that. They are kind of sticky. Um, I made, this is the first one that I showed you guys how to make. He, I don't know. Maybe he's kind of like, he looks like he might have to go to the bathroom. He looks like he's crossing his little legs. Maybe he has to go to the bathroom. I don't know. Um, then I made two squid. And this one, I'm not really sure what he's doing. Maybe he's pledging to something. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what he's doing. I tried to pose their, their little legs and I just... Yeah, I, I don't know. I was pretty bad at it, so maybe you guys will be better at it. Um, oh no, I just distorted this one's face a little bit. Oops. Why did I get so playing with them? Okay, so this is my little Coca-Cola or Cola um, squid. As you can tell, I kind of pulled on his face too much, so now it's like really elongated. Uh, I'm not really sure what he's doing with his legs. He looks like he's trying to make all of his legs be two legs, so he looks like a human. I don't know. I just have too much fun with candy. Um, once again, this kit, awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's tasty. Um, for those of you wondering, the cola actually does taste like cola. And the uh, blue one, it's like a bubblegum one. It's kind of like a bubblegum flavor to it. If you've ever had the drink Ramune, which is the drink with the um, the marbles in it, uh, and you get the soda flavor, it tastes just like that. So I'm assuming that's probably the flavor. It's just soda flavor. And so another great thing is not only is it a tasty treat, but once again, free stuff. I get to keep this cute little mold that I can use. And the great thing is now I have like a little mini handheld extruder thing. So, you know, I mean, I don't even think I have a clay extruder. I'm not 100% sure. I probably do. I have a lot of clay stuff. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, once again, as always, you can leave your suggestions below in the um, comment section. Let me know if there's a certain... Um, kit that you might want me to do, or if uh, there's a certain craft that you would like me to do. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. For once, I'm not talking so much. This is amazing. Um, well, thank you for watching, and happy crafting!